All right, so I think I got it all done and set up. I got the PlayStation on. Need to do some updates on that. Um, I got the mic translated over here for me, but I need to figure out why it's not coming on. That's for something later. And then this is cool. Got the fridge on. When you're installing N.2 drives, make sure that you line the little notch up with the little notch on the actual piece so you can see. Let's see, hold on, move it around. Right there, there's my little notch right there. So this, this would line up with that notch right there. And then make sure it's seated all the way back, give it a good push. And then just let it push it down a little bit like that and then screw it in and it should be installed so i had to completely disassemble it like i had to unplug a bunch of stuff and i had to remove the power supply coffin i had to do all of that where is it at right there see that screw laying up underneath there i had to do all that crap just so i can get that screw out because where does it go it goes right there and of course it's not just like a regular screw that fits any damn thing like a motherboard screw I got a billion of those but those little M.2 screws you lose that you're in trouble so I had no choice but to just completely tear it apart to get into it so now I can get that screw get that M.2 drive finished in and then we can just press on the thing that I very quickly realized was that I had to remove this exhaust fan here because the, uh, the the GPU head the top bracket wouldn't allow it to um, come out. I couldn't just pull it straight out uh, because of the teeth here that that go down into the side here. I had to actually lift it and then pull it out, and because of the fan being there, it wouldn't allow it. So it was just one more thing that I had to take off. All right, so I have it plugged in, and what I need to do is I need to make sure that none of the LEDs and stuff got unplugged because I don't want to put all of this together and then find out that this doesn't work or one of these wires in here is not working. So there's water in it. When I kick this thing on, it's going to pump it through and spit it right out of this here. So I got a little catch bucket here to try to catch it. But I need to make sure all of the LEDs work. So here we go. Three, two, one. Yep. Everything works. Good deal. All of the LEDs work. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good deal. So this is pretty much already done. It's just waiting for me. Um, this right here, I would like to try to take it apart without taking it apart. So really all I need to do is conquer it is to get that screw down there out. But that can always be proven to be more difficult. If not, I can just simply remove the graphics card. Now, I don't know how you work, but the way I work, whenever I decommission a computer, every single component and piece will go back in its original box all of those fans will go back in the original box the graphics card the motherboard the cpu the cpu cooler the ram even the sleeve extensions will all go back in the original box and go back in my inventory so that way when it comes time to build another computer i'll have some of these cool parts to select from to build another computer and I always tell everybody, make sure to keep your parts, keep your boxes, keep all of that crap. Keep it all. Oh, boy. Let's see here. I would like to make a video using that and that and maybe that and some of this other crap, but that's just going to stay up there for now. So anyway, back to what I was doing. Let's go ahead and remove that. We'll remove it, put it in this one, da 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 da, back to what we were doing. So we successfully got the GPU back in. Uh, I just gotta get the, the RGB and stuff 
rewired, get it plugged in, get the tubes plumbed back, refit it, pressurized it, fill it with water. And then we'll be all done and then I'm gonna bring it in the room, set it up where it's finally going to sit, put all the lights with it that are going to go with it. And that's what you guys will see next. I'm not gonna waste y'all's time with me filling the loop. We've already covered that in previous videos. So it's just gonna jump to, well, me being in the room and showing you where it's gonna sit. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to disassemble this and put everything back in its original box, which will be fun. Um, so let's go box shopping and let's go get all the original boxes for it and we'll start putting it, well, start tearing it apart. Although I'm going to do that on a time lapse. That'll be a different thing. So, yeah. converting my setup and getting everything put back right now everything is kind of displaced but what do you expect I mean all of my wires and power and cords and everything all the commands ran this way to the gamma build well I want the Titan build to be sitting in the corner so I'm having to figure out what goes to what and mouse keyboard everything get it all ran that way we also have a mini fridge underneath right there that's a mini fridge that needs to get wired in and then we'll have to get the LED lights plugged in too so yeah that's just kind of what I'm doing right now I just kind of have stuff like everywhere you know, and all of that you gotta love it Leave a comment below if you got something to say. And while you're down there, make sure to leave a like on this video as well. Got it all done and set up. I got the PlayStation on. Need to do some updates on that. Um, I got the mic translated over here for me, but I need to figure out why it's not coming on. That's for something later. And then this is cool. Got the fridge on. Got the underglow graphic light on, which you can see and the computer looks good in its spot so i hope you guys like it please subscribe leave me a like and thank you for watching and as always you guys be cool now i just got a little tuning to do and configuring all right i'll see you guys in the next one man i tell you what this strix rogue mic it looks awesome i love it especially with that boom arm on it oh yes can never have enough rgb guys can never have enough never enough